Hey guys, welcome to this video where you will get to know all about the upcoming FIBA World Cup International Basketball Tournament. Before I get started, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Make sure to watch till the end to hear my winner predictions. You might be wondering, why is this tournament important in the first place? First of all, this is the second most important basketball tournament outside of the Olympic tip-off. As of 2020, qualification for the Olympic Games is through the FIBA Basketball World Cup. The World Cup actually will produce seven directly qualified national teams for the Olympic Games, with hosts France, of course, receiving automatic qualification to the event. The seven spots will include two teams from Americas, two teams from Europe, one team from Africa, one team from Asia, and lastly, one team from Oceania. So every World Cup has been unique in its own way, but there are three main things about this tournament that clearly stand out. This is the first FIBA World Cup that is hosted jointly by three countries, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Japan. And guess what? The Philippines, who will be hosting the games of groups A to D, have the largest basketball arena in the world that can accommodate up to 55,000 fans. The third surprise of that tournament is that Indonesia, who is actually one of the co-hosts for the for this summer's World Cup, will not be participating in the tournament. This has never happened before in the history of the FIBA World Cup tournaments. I mean, guys, I don't really know from where to start when talking about the eight groups of this tournament. There is a lot to cover. The 32 teams have been split into eight groups, in which groups A to D will be playing in Manila, the Philippines. Now, looking at these four groups, you can clearly see that Group C is going to be the most competitive, with USA facing some great teams such as Greece and New Zealand. I wouldn't also ignore Jordan, as they've shown a tremendous performance during the qualifiers. Moving to groups E to H, which will be played in Okinawa, Japan, and Jakarta, Indonesia, Group H is by far the group of death in my opinion. You will know later in this video why I gave it that name, but it's, it's just enough to say that Jamal Murray, Krista Perzingis, and Rudy Gobert are all in the same group. Lebanon, who are the underdogs in this group, have a huge mountain to climb against those great teams. It is never easy to choose the top featured teams of the tournament given how many great teams have made it this year. But here are my top picks. First up is USA, who have never missed out on the World Cup, reaching the 19th straight tournament. The Americans, who are ranked second in the world, have won five titles, including 2010 and 2014. They bowed out of the quarterfinals in 2019. Next up is Canada. Canada locked up back-to-back -back World Cup showings for the first time since playing in nine straight events from 1970 to 2002. It will be the 15th appearance on the global stage for the world number 15. What makes Canada special this year is the jam-packed NBA roster that is definitely eyeing gold. France will be heading to the World Cup for the fifth straight time and have finished third in the last two events, their best result thus far. The world's fifth-ranked team would love to reach the podium again in their ninth overall appearance. Latvia so far are the only nation who will be making their World Cup debut in 2023. The Northern Europeans locked up their first ticket to the global spectacle during the November 2022 by winning all games in the qualifiers. Lebanon will be celebrating their first appearance in the World Cup since 2010 and fourth overall. The 2010 World Cup was the last of three straight for the Cedars, who are ranked 42nd in the world. If Lebanon wins one of their three games, this might have a huge impact on the chances of either France or Canada in winning the title. South Sudan are ready to take on the globe as one of FIBA's youngest federations will make their World Cup debut. South Sudan have been one of the quickest rising nations in the basketball world and jumped all the way up to number 63. Guys, it is not easy at all to predict the winner of this summer's World Cup. You have great matchups, jam-packed NBA rosters, and everyone is thirsty to prove to the world that they deserve being on this global stage. But here's my take on who I think will be in the finals. Both USA and France, in my opinion, have the highest chances of reaching the finals given the experience and performance they delivered in the games leading to this tournament. I see France emerging, however, as the winner given that they have more experienced players than the US team this summer. So what do you think of my prediction? Who have you got for the title of the FIBA World Cup this summer? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for upcoming content.